Hey guys, so today I would like to show you all how to use and navigate through the beta tool. Uh, first things first is I'm going to have everything connected to this home course. So I'm going to grab my USB-C. I'm going to connect it into the Storm Core. So I have everything connected here. This is all a, a regular uh, Lone Star setup. And what I want to do is you're going to go on the first link in the description. You're going to grab the latest board setup tool. It's a 3.0 tool. You're going to download it. And then after you've downloaded it, it should pop up here as a zip and then it will download here on the bottom of your screen. So let me do that once with you just so that you see that. So it says it's zipping it and after it zips it, it will download it for you. Next thing you want to do right after that is you want to grab your settings for your board. So with me I have a Lone Star motor and an Hoyt remote. And we're only offering it with the Hoyt remotes at the moment. So you want to download the motor configurations here. And then you download the, or sorry, you download the Lone Star configurations here and you download the Hoyt app configurations here. Make sure that you're only using the configurations meant for your board. So the tool was downloaded. I'm gonna show it in folder. Going to open it. Don't need those. Don't need that. All right. So we have the 3.0 tool here. Just gonna copy it and paste it into this neat little folder that I have over here. So it's a zip file. It will unzip with this unzipping program. And I have my Hoyt app and my Lone Star motor in the same folder here. It's not important to where it is. I'm just showing you how organized it, you could have it in order for you to know where all your things are. The next thing we want to do is just in case you want to grab one of the vest tools for your operating system. So at the moment, the board setup tool does only work for Windows. We don't have a Mac OS uh, version just yet. So you can download the Vest Vest tool off this website on Vest Tool Projects. Make sure to request, uh, make a new account for this and download the Vest tool for free here. Add it to cart, check out, and it will email you the tool. So we have the tool open here. So let's open that. And I also have the Vest tool here open. It may have some configurations left on it from before. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the setup tool, grab my Lone Star motor, because this is the motor target settings here. And then the one for the app, app, which is our remote is over here. So we're gonna grab the Hoyt, open that file into here. So we have the Lone Star motor here and the Hoyt app the settings loaded here. Now, the 3.0 of our tool works off of the 5.2 firmware version for the Storm course. What you want to do is to make sure that you have the right firmware version. So on the VEST tool, you're going to auto connect to the Storm course so over here. Let me turn her on. We're going to auto connect now. Perfect. So I'm um, connected here on the bottom right. Go to firmware and it will show you what firmware is loaded here. But if you don't have 5.2, it's easy to upload it. You're just going to press this download and then you're going to press yes. It should take about two minutes to upload the firmware. Just make sure throughout this process that your USB C and nothing is disturbing. The process here if anything is disconnected you could possibly break your storm core but it shouldn't be much of an issue okay 95 96 and 100 so make sure you leave everything alone the storm core is going to reboot give it 10 to 20 seconds in order for it to reboot 
it will reconnect to your computer after it reboots. So back to the board tool, we loaded up our settings here. I just realized we did have a Nazari here. So I'm going to go back to the website, I'm going to download a Nazari settings download anyways yes i'm just going to toss that with my tool over here and remember not to get mixed up with which board you have you should be using the appropriate one for your board so setup tool i'm going to grab the motor settings for the nazari and here we go. So the USB target, we want to make sure it's targeting the storm core. We press to refresh. It will target its port that is connected to. And last thing we want to do is untick the firmware upload because we already uploaded the latest firmware here. And we just want to leave everything else ticked from there. So we're going to start the setup. Make sure at this point you're holding onto your motors here. Make sure that there's nothing that's going to disturb it on this process here. And let's kind of finish off with the hall sensor detection here. Now let's hope that it, so it says here that I had it in error, that I'm outside a certain tolerance for the motors and it's causing an issue because there is no, there's not much of an accuracy. So what we could do here, if you're getting this error, you can increase the motor parameter tolerance. It's just telling you that your motors are either a little bit stronger or a little bit faster. Not all motors are built the same, but uh, yeah, nothing is unique. All you have to do is increase this tolerance. And we're going to restart this process 15 is my magic number keep it at that and when I say that not all motors are the same I mean that they're slightly different depending on their windings depending on the manufacturers but more, more or less all of them do are built to the same spec I'm gonna run that one more time here This is the one error that can occur uh, throughout this whole process that has happened before. It most likely will happen depending if you pick the correct motor settings for your board. So make sure that you're distinguishing between the Super Sports and the original Nazares and the original Lone Stars. And here we go. This is what we need. So now we're going to set up the motor direction. It's going to ask you to spin the motors in the correct direction of which your forward is. So I'm going to spin both here. And after that, it's going to set everything, upload everything. And then you're going to press OK. It's ready to ride and ready to rock. And that's it for how to navigate and use the tool using Windows. Enjoy, guys. Cheers.